I look crazy probably right now. I know. Don't judge. But um, we're going to get right into this video. Today's video, I'm just going to be showing you guys my first attempt on applying a 360 lace front wig. All right, y'all. So this wig is from Super B Wigs. And basically, I'm going to attempt or try my best to apply this 360 lace wig on. As you guys can see, this is how it looks. Everything looks, y'all. I already put my cap on and everything. So yeah, we're just gonna get started. I looked at a couple YouTube videos myself and kind of got a hang, like an idea of how I want to apply my wig on. So pretty much we're going to be doing it like that. Okay y'all, so the first thing I wanna start off with is just applying the glue onto my um, hairline. I'm not gonna cut the lace. Well, the video that I saw, she didn't cut the lace. Um, she didn't cut the lace. Um, before applying the actual glue onto your head she just did it she just did everything all in one so I'm not gonna cut the lace I already did my bald cap my bald um, skin color cap thing as you guys can see <laughs> I look crazy right now I know but um so pretty much I'm just going to start off with that and make sure you guys pluck this hair I did pluck this hair this hair did come pre-plucked so I just plucked it a little bit more to make it a little bit more um, natural looking. And also I washed in everything. And this is their um, 18 inch loose wave hair texture. I'm not sure exactly if it's um, Brazilian or Malaysian or not or Indian. I'm not really sure it wasn't specified in the thing, in the little information I got. But this is an 18 inch 360 loose wave wig. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and get right start, get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just outline my actual hairline and where I want my glue to lay so I can put the lace on. So we're just gonna do that really, really quickly. So this video is pretty much gonna just be like a watch me do it type of video because I don't really know really how to do like 360 front, I mean 360 wigs yet. So I don't wanna, you know, tell y'all something and I end up doing it wrong. So I wanna really concentrate and make sure I do this right for you guys. But you can watch the process of me trying to apply this on. And hopefully, once I get better, I will do a whole nother video like this and actually tell you guys step by step of what to do when applying a 360 lace. But yeah, for right now, y'all can just watch me and watch the process. All right, let's get started. So right now, I'm just making sure my wig is aligned, making sure everything is properly on my head matching up my ears because I do have to cut this part as well so I just want to make sure so yeah so pretty much what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and get a clip and I'm just going to clip the side where I'm about to cut so I'm going to go ahead pull it up and like we're just going to cut and how we're going to cut this is I'm just going to literally, oh no, y'all, I don't want to do this wrong. Okay, so I'm literally just going to cut above this line. It is pretty practically the same as a frontal. And so we're just going to do this. I'm just making sure my hair and stuff match up with it as well. And getting as much lace as possible off of my hair. Oh my god, y'all, I'm struggling already. I just do not want to mess this up. Alright, y'all. So y'all see it? <laughs> I hope y'all peek what I just did because I don't even know what I just did just now. But hey, practice makes perfect. So, other side. So, alright, I did the other side. And now what I'm about to go ahead and do is just go ahead and um, pull this whole thing up. Or get the hair away from the lace. And I'm about to just use some gossipy glue and just um, kind of like outline where I want the lace to properly lay and how I want my hairline to be. So, yeah. <laughs> Just apply it where you put the gossipy glue and just do like little dots or whatever. Alright, so I dried it until it got tacky and all I'm going to do is just match my hairline with where the glue is. So, yeah. <laughs> And 
And the white part is going to dry, so don't worry about that part. <laughs> Please don't. And honestly, this is the easiest way to apply a wig on. I just, I don't know, because usually I cut my lace first, but I actually like doing it like this. All right, y'all. So I'm thinking, I forget how she did this part. Um, I think she let this kind of sit on here for just a minute and she went on to the back. The back should be like easy, but I don't know y'all. But I'm gonna just brush out the hairs really quickly that's on the hairline. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna let this dry a little bit more. But this is how it's looking. And this is like the method that that girl did. Well, I'm liking it so far, y'all. Oh my God. And this hair is like so soft. But okay, so the back part, I'm just gonna lift this whole thing up and get the lace. <laughs> and basically do the same thing I did to the front. <laughs> so I'm just gonna get some glue. And this is gonna be messy, I feel. But hey, we're gonna make it work. So I'm gonna get the glue and put it where I feel like it should be. So I'm gonna do the second layer now. Yeah, I really hope I'm doing this right. So I think you're supposed to, is it bend your hair? I don't know y'all. I think bend, I think, or is it bend? Okay, we just gonna do it how, you know, I, I saw. So I just saw her kind of like, do her neck like this so the lace won't bend. And, then, and I did pluck the back as well. But like I said, this is my first time, so I don't know how to pluck the back like that. So I'm just gonna let that dry for a minute. <laughs> Alright y'all, so now I'm about to go back up to my front lace. Hopefully it don't come up or nothing. I don't know, y'all. This is my first time ever doing a 360 wig. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut the legs. And I guess I'm gonna start like with cutting the middle first. No, actually I can cut this part right. Okay, yeah, we're gonna do it like that. So I'm gonna just cut the legs y'all. I got my alcohol and I'm just going to put a little bit on some tissue and try to get the excess glue off of my um, lace. So I'm just gonna... The next thing is the baby hairs. Like I said, I'm gonna let this dry some more in the back because I don't, yeah, yeah, I don't trust the back yet. <laughs> I'm gonna trust the back. So I'm gonna just let this, let the back dry some more. Um, but I'm gonna just focus on doing my little baby hairs really quickly. All right, y'all, so far I am loving this frontal, you guys. I can't wait to see how it looks with the baby hairs and like the back part. Um, I am gonna wear this style down. So yeah, but um, I will get back to you guys when I get ready to do the back part and then I'll show you guys the final result. So yeah, make sure you guys stay tuned for that. All right y'all, so I finished doing like my baby hair and stuff and it's looking so far so good and I probably look crazy right now. But the back, I don't know how the back look y'all. So if it look crazy, then I'm sorry. But I did go ahead and do the, cut the back really quickly. I'm gonna turn around so y'all can really see it. So this is how the back looks. Um, here y'all. But I was gonna think about putting in a ponytail, but I realized I gotta do this side too. And I don't feel like doing that right now. So yeah, but I'm gonna go ahead and curl this and style it really quickly, and then y'all just gonna see the outcome of how the hair actually like styles and stuff. So yeah, alright.